Mr. President, Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's very honor for us to be able to attend this meeting. And Chikai, first, I'd like to introduce our team members. We are Zheng Jia, Qingkai, Yingjian, and me. We focus on machine learning and deep learning in biology. We are from School of Information Science and Engineering, Yanshan University. Our topic of presentation is expert learning in histology identification. Our presentation will include these four parts. First, the methods we use the to be processed to give a date. Second, our attempts are the filling missing values. Then, the methods we used for histology identification. And because we are not geologists, so we have some questions to ask. As shown in figure one, the given date is rated according to value names. We import the given date in the, into Navicate, and we use mathematical statements to separate millions of date. After that, we choose the input future of the offshore based model and futures that have less than 50% missed. Our input futures are shown in table one. As we all know, geological information is very important for lithology identification. As shown in finger two, for making full use of the geological dimensions, that is growth and formation given the data set, we use a label encoder. We convert values in string format to values between one and the number numbers of the classes of the future. But we think it will be better if we use one hard encoding or binary encoding, because there is no sequential relationship between the value of growth future or the value of formation future. Okay, next, let me class with Qingkai to introduce the next part. Okay, thank you, Qingkai. <laughs> Let's move on. We will now come to the second section. We first attempt to complete the missing data by machine learning methods such as SVR, GPT, random forest, and so on. Deep learning methods such as LSTM and uh, CNN it doesn't work. The recognition result of the baseline model is around 1.0, but the recognition result with our completed data is only around 1.9. Finally, we decided to use IBM Surpass. This software replaced missing values with the layer turned for that point. The existing series is regretted on an index variable scheduled one to n. Missing values are replaced with their productive values. In the third section, I'd like to introduce my models we used. Because of the amount of data is in millions, we choose the models can be trended with GPU, such as LetGBM and uh, Catboss. We are gradient boosting frameworks that uh, use the tree-based learning algorithms. And they have faster training speed, higher efficiency, lower memory uses, and uh, the better accuracy than GBDT and XGBoost. And uh, they also support parallel, distributed, and GPU learning. As shown in the third columns, in the second column of the table two, the final scale of thin, single light GBM and the catabolism model are around 0 0.8. And as shown in the third and the last column of the table two, the running time with GPU is shorter than with CPU obviously. Okay, this is the end of my part. The next part will be reported by my classmate Yin Jian. Okay, thank you, Qingkai. In order to improve uh, the performance of our models, we first use cross validation method for light GBM and uh, catabolism, and the score can can be improved around 0 0.2. Then we use stacking method. We divided the training data into five parts. We use one of them as valid data and the rest as training data, respectively. 
to train a classifier mode and the predicted result of valid data are used for the input features of a logistic regression mode. The output of the logistic regression mode is true class labels of training data. Through the above steps, we can obtain five classi classifier models and a logistic regression mode. Then we feed the test data into their classifier models respectively and obtain five predicted results. That five predicted results are used for input features of the logistic regression mode. To obtain the final predicted result of the test data, in our experiment, we use three classifier models. They are active boost, live GBM, cat boost, and the output of their three models are concatenated as input features of the logistic regression mode. At last, the score of our mode is around 0.533. That's all for our presentation. And we have some doubts that we would like you to help us solve. Uh, first, regarding the millions of data, set, uh, data sets provided by the computation, how to sort out a data set with few missing and uh, appropriate numbers? Because we hope to select a data set with suitable size and less missing data so that we can efficiently verify the accuracy for the classification mode we propose. Second, does it make sense to complement the missing large uh, score logging curve in this data set? As we mentioned uh, earlier, we have used a lot of mature learning and deep learning method to complete the missing data, but the effect is not good. Our performance is not very outstanding. We hope you can give us some suggestion about our work. Thanks, so, uh, that's all. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you. Yeah, I had a question. This is Jeremy. Yeah, go ahead, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm not, uh, I'm a machine learning amateur, but did you guys really spend like up to 60 hours, I think, on one slide, just uh, running through a whole bunch of models? Yes, um, because we use only CPU and uh, uh, it, is, it is slow. Um, maybe our CPU is not good. OK, yeah, that uh, makes a difference if you have a good GPU. Uh, yes, uh, because we first uh, did, uh, doesn't use uh, GPU because we didn't know how to use it. Uh, next, uh, we we know how to use it. So uh, um, we, we, we use it in, in um, so so we first not use and and last we use it. Yes. And then I guess a, a follow up question would be, you know, we were just listening to Campbell's presentation on cutting the data so that you can have a faster training time. So I guess in this case you know, did running 60 hours really improve your score that much, or did you compare it against a, a slower running time? Mm, yes, um, I, I, don't, I don't think it, it's, it's um, improve our score. And uh, I, 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 I can't, <laughs> uh, 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 so, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> um, uh, uh, please, please wait. To, uh, we, we we need to organize our, our language. Um, we 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 use uh, we use CPU um, and uh, we don't uh, cut the data set and and we uh, we 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 input we we input data. Uh, um, we, we, we input all the data uh, uh, through it. Okay, no, fair enough, thank you. Uh, 